you know, a report came out earlier this year. And according to Billboard, not one hip hop artist had an album that debuted number one this year. Not even one. And Bow Wow came out and he just was like, yo, it's just a lot of trash ass music out there. (laughs) That's the blame. (laughs) Do you agree with that? Yeah, I do. Back, you know, back then uh, to say that you would be like, oh, you know, might not say that because this person is really good or this person is really good or they really talented. Well, you know, he probably was right. You know, a lot of the shit is just kind of trash out there, man. Um, You know, uh, everything sound the same. Um, In a minute, it's not going to be the number one uh, genre of music anymore. Um, Shit, motherfuckers better, you know, wake up, you know. Um, It's OGs out here like me that still got good music out here, man, if y'all ain't listening. You know what I'm saying? Uh, You know, you listening to the radio, you listening to everything else everybody else listening to. But um, the artists that made it great are still out here doing great, doing good music, doing great music. You need to, um, if y'all tired of listening to that shit, man, y'all need to come back because we way better than we was 10, 20 years ago, too. And we still do the same hot shit. So if you want some good music, man, y'all better go back to the, to the soul of the shit. Go back to the source. That's real. That's real. Yeah, interestingly enough, since that article came out, Lil Uzi Vert, he was the first hip-hop artist to drop a number one album this year. And I say interestingly enough, because you spoke up, you actually diss Uzi Vert in the past. Probably. <laughs> you don't even remember? Nah, but I probably did. Okay, do it shock you that out of all the hip hop artists that dropped this year, Lil Uzi was the only one that went number one? Nah, because like I say, there's a lot of bullshit out there anyway. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I, you know, you can't compete with bullshit. Like, if you were an artist, you know, um, and you, uh, you got all of the elements in your music, you know, you, in your verses. Your your spit is dope. Your lyrics is dope. Everything you're saying is is tight and, and, and it's, it's making sense and it sounds good and it don't sound like nobody else shit and all of that shit. You still um, not really, might not even go nowhere with the shit because it's, because people rather listen to what's popular instead of what's, what's, um, what's good. Like, um, it's hard to say, oh, this is good and this ain't, but you know, shit, fuck that, man. You know what, what, what sound good and what sound like everything else? Motherfuckers ain't crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's funny because your man Uzi Vert, he used a clip on his album, um, cause Charleston White actually said he was a sissy who paints his nails. And um, Uzi included that clip in his album, which is ill. Like, you know, so he he likes that shit, I guess. You know, oh, yeah, he said I was a sissy because I paint my nails. Um, it was, wait, I don't know if it was him or not, but it was like one scene where he was talking about you here now and, and, and we in hell or, and he was, he was on the, um on stage and shit. And they say, they say he was like on some devil worship and shit. Is that him or... Or just somebody else? Nah, I, I think that's somebody else. What other? It was man. It was another artist. Saying, I mean, it could be him. I'm just not familiar. I, I think it was. I think it was him. It was at a concert, at a big concert, and it, and it was like some crazy shit going on, man. Some old crazy shit. I, I gotta. I, you gotta search for it on YouTube. It's, it's on there. And shit, it's crazy. Yo, but like, let me let me ask, ask you something. Is it? Is hip hop just out of control right now? Drake put up a post with with him getting his nails painted, like, <laughs> like, is is this just fashion? Is is the world completely changing? Like, 
I don't know what what the nails paint thing is. I don't know what they doing with that one. They just whoa. They just, that's just um. I don't know, you know, because the era that we from, you know, um, you could walk around the, the locker room when 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 you was when you was a kid or you was in high school and not worry about you know no nobody no crazy shit going on. You know what I'm saying? You could walk around the locker room to take a shower in the locker room when you was in high school and don't worry about no weird weird shit going on. Now, man, it's re- it's on it's on a regular. You know, a motherfucker walk around with his nails painted. It's, it's supposed to be regular. It's like you ain't supposed to trip on that. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You know, even a even a dog is gonna is gonna look at another dog if 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 it's, if it walk past if it's a male and it walk past smelling like a female. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> even a dog, you know, hey, with this dumb different. You know what I'm saying? You got you paint your nails. Like, come on. That's I don't, I don't see no. Reason in that. So, but like I say, the era that we come from is more masculine. So, you know, we come from 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 big ass saggy pants and 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 uh, you know, so we can hide our hide our hide the guns in the in their pockets and they can't see the shit. You know what I'm saying? We come from that era. This a new era is a whole different ball game, man. You know, that's that's, that's I let them let them do what they do, and I I just. Keep doing me, man. You know what I'm saying? I won't be painting my nails, though. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's definitely a different era right now. 